Hey Tractors, this is Brother Steve again. Today I'm going to talk about doing the dirty jobs. I know that during this period of quarantine being stuck at home, you'll be asked by your parents to help out around the house. While you may have day planned of playing eight hours of Left 4 Dead and then another eight hours of Fortnite, your parents have another agenda planned for you. Now God saved you to be his servant and to help others in love. He doesn't want you sitting around all day being served. So this week's verse shows that. Luke chapter 22, verses 26 through 27. But ye shall not be so, but he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger, and he that is chief, as he that doth serve. For whether is greater, he that sitteth at meat, or he that serveth, he is it not he that sitteth at meat, but I among you, as he that serveth. Being in red letters, this is a quote from Jesus, and he is responding to an argument between the disciples about who is greatest among them. This was a lesson they had a hard time learning. We hit this subject in the first week of this year when James and John's mom asked Jesus if they could sit at his left and right hands. And back then we learned that we were to be servants and ministers. A servant did the manual jobs, which we all can do. And a minister does a special job, which others cannot. In John chapter 13, after the Last Supper, Jesus demonstrated how they were to do servant-type jobs for one another by washing their feet. John chapter 13, verses 13 through 17. Ye call me Master and Lord, and ye say, Well, for so I am. If then your Lord and Master have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example, that ye should do as I have done to you. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither is he that sinneth is greater than he that sent him. If ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. Jesus washing their feet was a humbling and dirty job. And I challenge you to take on the dirty jobs in the house. The two most dirty jobs I know of in a home is changing poopy diapers and cleaning the toilet. Now y'all are going to be parents someday, so you'll have to learn how to do both of them. And I know at least one of you have the opportunity to learn the former since you have a brother who's not potty trained. <laughs> now it won't be easy. You'll have to get over that gag reflex and the smell. And it's on my fingers. <laughs> but if you do it right, it won't smell afterwards and it washes off too. Just rub some lemon essential oil on it if there's still any odor on your fingers. And a toilet is just this porcelain and plastic with the same stuff on it. After the job is done, you will have a sense of accomplishment. And as Jesus said, you'll be happy for it. Now, if you're willing to do the dirty jobs, you'll be willing to tackle any job Jesus has in store for you. Jesus wasn't afraid to get his hands dirty, so you shouldn't be either. Get busy. That's all I got to say about that. Thanks.